current electricity part two question number one a wire of resistance 4 ohm is bent in form of a circle as shown what is effective resistance in between the ends of diameter so here total resistance is 4 ohm these are the midpoints and we assume that resistance is uniformly distributed so in half portion resistance will be 2 ohm and this will be 2 ohm and this will also be 2 ohm so we can say that these two resistances are in parallel so this is 2 ohm and this is 2 ohm and we can evaluate so 1 upon rp it will be 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 that will be 1 which implies rp equals 1 now consider next question find the value of current in the circuit shown here we will find out the equivalent resistance then we will apply it oops. so equivalent resistance 30 ohm and these two are in series so it will be 60 ohm so 1 upon rp will be 1 upon 30 plus 1 upon 60 so 60 2 plus 1 3 by 60 or 1 by 20 which will give rp equal to 20 ohm now to be equal to ir so i will be equal to 2 by 20 or 1 by 10 which is 0 0.1 Ampere. Now consider next question. A set of n identical resistors, each of resistance R ohm, when connected in series, have an effective resistance of X ohm. And when they are connected in parallel, the effective resistance is Y ohm. What is the product of X and Y? So R ohm, R ohm, n times will give n R, which is X. R and R dot 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 and registers connected in parallel. So one upon RP equal to R one upon R plus one upon R n times. So this will do, give n upon r so rp will be here rp is y so y equal to r upon n now we have to find out x y so x is n r and y is r upon n so from where we will get x y equal to r square consider next question in the circuit given below find voltmeter reading across four ohm register so here Let's evaluate the resistance. So we first evaluate resistance between A and B by this part. So it is 2, 4, 6 plus 2, 8. So we can say this is 2, this is 8, and this is 2. And this is also 8. So if I current is coming like this, then equal current i by 2 and i by 2 will pass. So let's see first what current is there. So in order to find current, we find total resistance. So total resistance will be 2 and this to 8 ohm and this is also 8 ohm, this one. And then this is 2 ohm. So it will be 2 plus 8 and 8 are parallel. So they will get 4 ohm. So 4 plus 2, that is 8 ohm. So we find current V equal to IR. V is 16. I is to be found. R is 8. Now where we get I equal to 2 ampere. Now, as I told you, so 2 ampere current will come up to here but it will get equally divided. So 
one ampere will flow through this path and one ampere will flow through this path. Through one ampere. So potential difference across these two points will be V is re reading a voltmeter. Which will be equal to IR. So I is one ampere and resistance is four ohm one into four, that is four volt. Let's see next question. Two metallic rods each of length L area across section A1 and A2 having resistivities rho1 and rho2 are connected in parallel across a DC battery. What will be the effective resistivity of this combination? So let's find out effective resistance R effective equal to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2. So R is equal to rho L divided by A. So R1 will be equal to rho L1 divided by A1 and R2 will be equal to rho L2 divided by A2. But L2 and L1 are same. So here again we drop the split. Rather, we write a rho L upon A1 and R2 a rho L divided by A2. And let's write effective resistance also R effective. So here, rho effective times L will remain same and area will be sum of the two cross sections. So A1 plus a2. So we put these values here. So it will become A1 plus A2 divided by rho effective times L equal to R1. So it will become A1. It is 1. So it will become A1 divided by rho 1 L plus R2, this is rho 2, this, here this is rho 2 because resistivities are given as rho 1 and rho 2. So A2 divided by rho 2 into L. Now L can be cancelled. So A1 plus A2 divided by rho effective equal to A1 upon rho1 plus A2 upon rho2. Now, we simplify. So A1 plus A2 divided by rho effective equal to a1 rho 2 plus A2 rho 1 divided by rho 1 rho 2. Or we can make cross multiplication. A1 plus A2 times rho 1 rho 2 divided by A1 rho 2 plus A2 rho 1 equal to rho effective which is required value. Thank you for watching.